Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for your visit and your support. Now, uh, Dr. Anya or Barista Anya or Evangelist, because in this grand community now, everybody has big title and not only one big title, numerous titles, Dr. Evangelist, Ambassador, Comrade, you know. So he's saying that uh, there is a protest that uh, is advising the NGOs, bundle heads and beneficiaries, I guess the protest is in Abuja, that uh, what is delaying the the disbursement is not uh, the grant handlers, that is uh, the government. So you just listen to this update. We'll, we'll see at the other side because, you know, for me, it's good. It's a relief because if the protest is done, a lot of uh, uh, awareness will be created so that we really know where the money is. For in my personal opinion, I know there is money. But the thing is, where exactly is the money? Is it the federal government? Is it is it with uh, grant handlers? So for him to come out and say that we should uh, they should prepare for protest and protest should be held, which means that uh, the money is there. Well, we hope that this is not a gimmick also to calm people down, to make people to to have hope, because for him to call for protest, which means the money is somewhere and is not with grant uh, handler so just listen to what he has to say if need be though we are not in abuja those in abuja should do the protest so that the needful will continue to be done we'll meet at the other side thanks a lot listen to the broadcast all ceos in nigeria good morning to all fighters in Nigeria. Good morning to all people of Nigeria. Good morning to all expectants of all grants in Nigeria. Good morning to everyone who is listening to my voice this morning. This is the voice of Ambassador Dr. Pascal Anyaw. I will not be talking like a fool. I will not be talking because others had said something. I want to talk because whether you like it or not, I am standing for the masses. I am standing for my people. And the last thing I will ever do is to betray whoever I'm working with. And the people who are hearing me that knows me very well knows too well that i will be the last person to be used by any person i will never succumb or surrender myself to such in my life i have grown beyond that i don't even know the money or what they are going to give to me that will lead me to such my integrity matters and I value it so much. I don't come to the social media. I don't come to social space because people are talking. I want to talk. People are shouting. I want to shout. People are making noise. I want to make noise. It is far to he or she that call his or herself a leader. A leader is somebody who is organized. A leader is somebody who uses his brain. A leader is somebody who don't talk because others are talking. The leader is somebody who brings solution. The leader is somebody who goes for dialogue to make sure that things that are not right are being put right. At this point, we have had the meeting last night. Everybody is agitating. Everybody is, not, is confused. The more. Everybody don't understand the meeting. Nobody knew how everything went. We are still at a confused state as I speak. But I want to let you all know that me, for one, I'm not confused. Me, for one, I am still standing as the leader of my people. Listen and listen carefully. Every one of you, every one of you, all the state chairmen, listen very well. 
this week must not go without disbursement. You know, this is what they always say. Say this week must not go without disbursement. Today is uh, Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow is Wednesday. So let's see. Let's see what 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 he's saying. Today must not go. As in this week must not go without disbursement. This week is al it's already finished and they've not signed any document. So how visible is it? This week must not go without disbursement. For that reason, let all the chairmen of all CEOs in Nigeria follow instruction of the national executive. Follow the instructions because by this Wednesday, by the grace of God, we will be coming out for a press conference. By this Wednesday, we will be coming out for a press conference. And our press conference is to the government, to the authority we'll be hearing about. We are going to talk to them on what the masses are facing, on all that are on us, on all we have already indebted into at the regard of all this. We are no longer going to keep quiet. Let it not look as if those people who they have sent to work for us are not being stoned over what they don't know. Who is uh, chairing this press conference? Because the, the person that is chairing this course press conference determines the tone of this press conference. Normally, this press conference is supposed to be neutral. But they are now trying to do it, towing it to the government, which means a lot of things will be left. The crying of the masses, of the beneficiaries, how much they have paid, I think will be left aside if they are doing it to the government. The press conference is supposed to be neutral. People will come out and speak their ordeal. But now, I hope that Ken cohorts are not trying to hijack this press conference and make it their own, telling the government what they want to hear. I hope not. The Apostle Ken Lakama and his team, the Ogre Pleasure Group, and those who are working to see that this money is disbursed. Let it not be that the masses are looking at them at the ones delaying this whole disbursement. They are not the one. This time around, we, the CEOs, are coming out to go to the government in the media, to face the one on one and tell them, if they don't know, we are telling them now that people are dying. People are dying. People are no longer standing straight. A lot of things have befell people because of all this. They should do the needful immediately. The committee working with these our people <clears throat> should do well to make sure that they comply immediately. Because you cannot sit as a government having nobody to control. Having nobody, you are leading. You are leading people. And the people you are leading are dying. The people you are leading has no longer hope on anything that has to call livelihood. Everything in them has gone out. Every strength in them are out. It is high time we rise up. Now that we have known where the problem is coming from, we must approach them. We are not going to fight because we cannot fight the government. We are only going to plead to them and dialogue with them through the medias, which we know, they will definitely respond. We are going to them to plead. Please, I am calling. Not to know you, start talking from the background. Start talking from the backyard. Start talking from anywhere I want to talk from. This is the time. This is the time we need to come out. We here, don't just come out. Don't just talk because people are talking. Don't just shout because people are shouting. If you go to fight the Ogre Pressure Group, Will that give you the money you are looking for? If you go to fight Apostle Ken and his team, will that give you the money you are looking for? The answer is no. The money is still where it is. The money to come out of that place before we can know who to fight. And there's no way the money can come out of that place and remain even a night. It will surely go out. And where is it going to? To our account. So everybody should listen and know that in as much as our hope is still in this week, 
we need to make it to be more faster and the only way we can do that is by talking to the government through this press conference everybody should comply everybody should comply send in your support because this will be done by this Wednesday by the special grace of God I appeal to everybody and I beg every one of you come down and let us see the results this week will give to us I still believe that things has not gone wrong things are still at the place where we all we still rejoice no tension should make you go astray I think this more harder when it's coming to the end it's more harder when you're approaching the success or the victory so let us all come together let us all fight it together because I believe God is on our side and with him we are victorious this again is from comrade ambassador dr pascal Anyang. i say to you all please relax your minds please calm down because fight has never solved any problem in nigeria or anywhere what fight does is to scatter the good we have done so let us all know that we are going to approach the matter the way it will be more better and the way we will get results that's why we are coming this way the ceos are not people who don't use their brain we have sense and must apply that sense as leaders we must know that the only way out is dialogue with the opponents with the oppositions so as to get it right from here this is monday morning this is exactly 10 31 a.m being the 20 second day of uh, april 2024 from here i want to say do have a lovely day may god bless you all and uh, may our expectations this week be granted to the glory of god of our own happiness thank you and uh, till we meet